And we're back to another podcast here. And today I'm going to be talking about the book, The Mark of the Dragonfly. Which is what I read by uh, J. Lee Johnson. So let's get right into it now. And um, so we're going to start out with first Piper, the main character, finds this girl named Anna in the meteor fields, which is like the big thing that everybody goes to to find loot and stuff. Um, Because basically what happens, meteors come down, they drop these things, and they sell them, trade them for money and stuff, or coin, that's what they call it in the story. And so, Piper's out there with this guy named Micah, and which you're not supposed to be out there when there's a meteor shower going on because you could die. And so, they're out there together and they see this caravan thing with all these animals and bags, horses, or not horses, they're like oxes basically. And they get hit by this huge giant meteor, it blows up, boom, like it gets hit in the head by a meteor. Um, or the explosion. And then, so, Piper runs out to the caravan to get medicine for Micah, and she see, she opens up like the tarp thing with all the stuff inside, and she's like, oh, there's a bunch of medicine in there, and then this girl's hand falls out onto her lap, she freaks out, flips out, you know, and she finds out that she's got this dragonfly tattoo on her, uh, forearm sort of thing which means that she's protected by the king air Aaron and so Piper saves the girl brings her inside her house to heal her all that jazz and then a few days later Anna wakes up not remembering anything so skipping along now Piper and Anna think this trip back to uh, the dragonfly territories is going to be a cup of tea. Well, surprise, it's not. It's very tough. So they get on this trade train called a 401, which is a very old steam train. And it, everybody likes it pretty much. You get on it, you trade there, you send messages on it, you know, you do you do it all. And there's this weird kid wearing with uh, not wearing. He's got green eyes. And he's just staring at him, staring at two girls. And the two girls, they get off the train because, you know, it's got to stop sometime. They get off, they go look around, and these slavers try to attack them. But Guy, the guy with the green eyes, saves them. So he's pretty much part of the group now. So he sticks with them. So Guy's a part of the group, and they're back on the train, 401. And they're about to go in this tunnel. And Piper and Anna both know that there are going to be raiders in this tunnel. And Piper and Anna are like, oh yeah, we'll we'll stop them. Piece of cake, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But no, actually Anna's arm gets cut by one of the raiders very, very bad. And Piper's this very good machinist. And she's trying to fix Anna, but Piper actually realizes that Anna is half mas- half machine. So, pretty crazy stuff. Now, when Anna's recovering from her arm surgery, she she disappears. She goes and tries to find the Dolomon alone. And the crew wakes up, and she's not there. So, what do they do? They freak out. And, but actually, she left a note for Piper that says she went to find Dolman, and Piper goes out after her before it's too late. Now, in the end, they're gonna kind of do, uh, kind of uh, regret that decision. So Piper ends up finding Anna and with the Dolman, and Dolman wants to continue doing hurtful tests on Anna. Because she's half machine, pretty much. And Piper says, no, 
obviously, because she's her friend now. And the Dolomin gets very, very mad. But King Aaron comes up pretty much out of nowhere. He's just like, hey guys. He's like, arrest all of them. Then the girl explains about the Dolomin and how he's doing hurtful tests. He sets Piper and Anna free, but puts the Dolomin in jail. So yeah, that is my podcast. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Jensen Fryman signing off. See you on the next adventure.